So I've already made a quick video tutorial on how to use the uh, Pokemon randomizer. Uh, but this is uh, another brief tutorial about how to use a Pokemon save editor. Now, what are really the purposes of a save editor? Um, the randomizer is really a, a different way to play a standard Pokemon game. But what if you don't want to really change necessarily the game itself, but you want to... This is more like a, a cheats system, uh, a way to set up certain Pokemon, set up certain IVs, set up certain stats, get certain items. If you happen to have a, you know, a glitched save or some sort of issue with a save or you're doing a run through and you might have accidentally released a Pokemon or, you know, you named the Pokemon the wrong thing or you sold an item or you're stuck somewhere, you know, you can't catch a Pokemon, whatever. This is essentially a cheat menu, um, but you can use it in many other ways as well. Um, so I'll kind of go through, you can go through, download PK Hex. It's very basic, very simple. It comes into a zip file, you just pop it open. Um, and you're gonna want to go to open and then go to wherever your save file is. Um, it needs to be an SRM, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but for your ROMs, you should have an SRM. So you need to actually start the game, um, load up the game to a certain point where you can save it, and then save the uh, SRM file, and then open it actually in PKX. You just select it, you hit open. Once you open your file, um, you will see a couple of things to let you know that you have successfully loaded it. It'll say it up here. It will also show any any Pokemon that you have in your box, and it will show any Pokemon that you have in your party. So what I did was I loaded up a copy of Leaf Green in Retroarch. Uh, I ran to the first uh, Pokemon Center. I picked Bulbasaur, um, and I did a quick save. So to kind of showcase the fact that you can do these saves and edit these saves at any level to give yourself pretty much whatever you want so you know i have literally like a level five bulbasaur right so here here's a great example <laughs> deoxys a a late game uh you know legendary you know what let's even do Ooh, where is where's dragonite let's do a dragonite there we go and let's make him level 100 shall we Boom. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different things you can pick here, right? Um, you can pick stuff like uh, for your p Pokemon that you want to add into the game, essentially. One of the things you can do is add Pokemon into the game. You can add them into your box or you can add them into your party. And here it basically shows you all the Pokemon that you could be adding into your game. Um, you can also change nicknames. One of the cool things is if you accidentally nickname a Pokemon or you want to add a nickname or change it, Instead of going all the way to the end to get to the freaking nickname guy, you can just do it right here off the rip. Um, you can also change levels. You can change their natures if you have a preference with that. Um, you can give them any held item, which is like practically any item in the game that any Pokemon can hold, uh, including TMs. Um, you can change their abilities because some of them have different innate abilities. You can change their friendship levels. Um, you can change the language that their naming is done, um, if it comes from an egg, all this other stuff. Um, you know, you can change their origins, you can change the Pokeball that they're in, you can change the level that the game tells you you met them at, um, and then you can do some stat moddings with IVs, with EVs, their hidden power, you can randomize it. Um, you can give them moves uh, that they really shouldn't learn, um, change the, the PP of it, you know, it's it's pretty awesome, you know, stuff with the cosmetics, um, my character's name is Ass, so disregard that, um, but it, it's, it's really cool, so let's say I want this Dragonite, right, what you end up doing is make all your changes here, um, one of the things that you have to remember to do is you've made your changes here, right, you have to come over here, if you either put it in your party, or you put it in your box, doesn't really make a difference, and you set it, right? Um, 
So one of the weird kind of things is like just clicking on Bulbasaur here does not set it. <laughs> you might think, oh, I clicked on Bulbasaur, now I'm changing Bulbasaur. Unfortunately, not the case. What you actually have to do is hit view. And this will give you all the information from your Pokemon that you've already got in the game, right? This will show you their XP, their level, their nature, you know, their ability, their friendship levels, everything that you have with this kind of Pokemon. Um, you can delete them. You can do all this stuff. You can make a copy of them. So you know what? I'm going to just make a copy of this Bulbasaur, right? And I'm going to nickname him um, Bulbasaur... I might not have enough space. Oh, there we go. Bulbasaur 2, right? So here's another good example. And once again, here you go. You've just now made a change. You're in the view, right? This Bulbasaur is not Bulbasaur 2 yet. I made this change, but I didn't set it. So I've come in here, now I'm going to hit set. Boom, now we have Bulbasaur 2. Um, so it, it's really simple. Um, you just need to basically pick a square that you want to put a Pokemon, or, or select and view a Pokemon that you already have, make all the changes you want over here, right-click on wherever you want it, either the, the original Pokemon or a duplicate, and hit set. That will lock in those changes, right? And you know what? I'm going to even do something even more fun. Um, just for reference, to kind of give everyone an idea, what's a cool move that... Ba -ba -ba. Let's do a horn attack. Ooh, I just saw Hyper Fang. Where is it? Hyper Beam. Let's do Hyper Beam. Obviously, a move Bulbasaur would never know, um, but this is a really cool way to do something crazy like this, right? And I'm going to set it. Boom. Now you can see in red there that he has Hyper Beam, right? This one does not. This is the regular Bulbasaur. This is the modded, essentially modded Bulbasaur. And then you've also got a uh, Dragonite in here. Um, so you can do a lot of different stuff with Pokemon. One of the cool things that I did, this is actually the original reason that I downloaded this, um, the PK Hex in general, was because what I wanted to do was set a party at level 1 uh, from scratch, from the start of the game. And so I went through all the Pokemon, I picked the six Pokemon that I was planning on playing the entire game through, and I pretty much just set them up kind of the way I wanted um, from level one. I didn't really mess with the stats or anything, um, but what it does is it allows you to play through an entire game with one party, um, similar to how people go to, what is it, like the Elite Eight or whatever with a set six Pokemon, well, here you can do the entire game with those Pokemon, right? And it's it's just something that's super cool. I loved doing it. You you don't have to worry about, if you don't want to, you don't have to worry about catching Pokemon. Um, you can just battle, and it significantly speeds the game up. It makes the game so much faster. Um, and it's fun, because you know I'm investing the time in the grind for the Pokemon I want, right? Um, so that's really cool. Um, and you can also mess with the daycare in here, which is pretty cool. Um, you can screw around with that. One kind of important thing you probably want to be able to do, a main thing, is your items. Um, so if you have a bunch of items, this is actually like all the items you have in the game because I just started. I literally have like a potion and that's it. Um, but one of the other things I did um, to speed up the grind is you can go in here and give yourself literally any item you want. So say you wanted Master Balls, you could literally just go and give yourself a Master Ball and then times it by a thousand, right? So let's do that. Master Ball. And you can change the count. So I'm going to do... Uh, I guess I'm going with 88, not 99. Uh, <laughs> and one of the other cool things I want to do... Uh, you know what? I will put it on Pokemon. So let's view, right? We're going to make a change, right? So we're going to make a change to Bulbasaur 2. I'm going to right-click, I'm going to view, it's going to bring Bulbasaur 2 up. Um, I'm going to go to Held Items, and this is what I did on my other playthrough as well. I'm going to go all the way down. Boom. Lucky Egg. Now that I've made a change, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to set it. Boom. 
Bulbasaur 2, the modded Bulbasaur, now has Hyper Beam and a Lucky Egg. One of the really cool things, if you want to eliminate grinding, is, and I already did this as well, you can give all, all Pokemon you have, as many as you want, uh, unlimited supply of Lucky Eggs. Which, I want to say, gives you 1.5 or 2x the XP for every battle. And so that's just another way you can speed the game up, cut out all of the unnecessary grinding, and just have more fun. You know, have more time in-game to focus on fighting gym leaders, fighting trainers, going through the story, you know. It, it just cuts grinding right out of the game. And, you know, as an adult, I don't have time for grinding, and I don't have time for catching Pokemon. I mean, that's a fun thing to do. Uh... But if I was going to do that, I would do the randomizer, you know? So this is a great way to be like, you know what? We're going we're gonna to cut the grind out. I'm going to give myself the Pokemon I want. I'm, if I want to screw with the stats, if I want to screw with the items, give myself unlimited Pokeballs, whatever it is, I'm going to go do it, right? So, we've made all of our choices. We're done. Um, we're going to move on, right? So, I believe it is export save. Yep. So let's say... You know, we're not going to do a base game save. We're just going to use this, right? So, save file's already here. We're going to replace it. Boom. Save is exported. So we're good to go. Um, I'm pretty sure you can actually save... Yeah. You can actually save, like, the changes. It's, it's basically just, like, a format. Um... Like, any changes you've made here, you can just sort of make, like, a copy of this and then reload it um, if you really want to. Um, it's nothing really crazy. So, uh, let's get into the game, and we'll load up the save file, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here we are uh, at our save file in my emulator. It's going to go through all this stuff that I've done, not really. All right, so let's let's take a look and see what we're working with here. And there we go. So here's our level five Bulbasaur that we started with. Here's Bulbasaur two. Here's our modded Bulbasaur. Let's take a look at the item. Uh, let's take this, and we've received the Lucky Egg from Bulbasaur two. Let's go take a look at what uh, his move set is, shall we? Would you look at that? <laughs> Bulbasaur two has Hyper Beam, right? Pretty hilarious. Um, and while we're here, let's go run into the PC and take a look at what we've got. Let's drop Pokemon here. Boom! A level 100 Dragonite. I don't know if I gave him any kind of special moves. Nope, even the most power. <laughs> so, I'm gonna slap him in. Um, so that, that's pretty much... All you really need to know, um, I guess I can also show in my bag. I've still got the Lucky Egg, obviously. And there you go. I've also got 88 Master Balls, so if you want to catch Pokemon, but you don't actually want to have to deal with not catching Pokemon, uh, you can just give yourself 88 Master Balls, or 99 Master Balls, or whatever. I don't think you can give yourself money. I do believe you can give yourself items, though. So let's see if we can actually... I'm going to fast forward here. Um... Get into a get into a battle with our modded Bulbasaur and just see how hyper beam looks. Boom! <laughs> there's there's your modded Bulbasaur using hyper beam to one shot a out of data, uh, literally the first five minutes of the game. So it, it's just absolutely. show, I guess, level 1 Dragonite, or excuse me, level 100 Dragonite as well, just for Ehaw's news. Level 100 Dragonite with uh, 300 HP, <laughs> only nose pound, and it'll probably be a one shot. Yeah. So, there you go. That's a pretty basic outline tutorial of, uh, how to use the PK Hex Editor to edit your Pokemon save files. Thanks for watching.